Hey folks, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca and today we've got a special video for you. We're going to go visit with the uh, AstroDoc, uh, that's Ron Breacher, you might have heard of him. He's uh, an astrophotographer and uh, has done uh, some lectures and uh, has uh, a lot of published images and uh, articles. Anyways, uh, he's got a new Astro toy that he wants to uh, show me, so we're going to go and check it out and uh, you're going to come along for the ride. Observatory, you probably find Ron in here. There he's at. Oh, roof is opening. Hey, Ron. Hey, how you doing, Sean? Hey, good to see you, buddy. Greetings. How, how are, are you? you? Come on awesome. In. There it is. The Esprit 100. 150, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. the 150. That's the 150. So, why don't you tell the viewers of the channel about your telescope here? Okay, well, the, the telescope is a 6-inch refractor. It's a Skywatcher 150 F7. Skywatcher loaned this to me last year. I've been using it ever since, and they've just gifted it to me, which is awesome. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a great, great, great telescope. And uh, Gotta like gifts like that. Yeah, it really, really does perform well. The mount is a um, the mount is a software basic power mount MX, and uh, it can take a lot more weight than this. And, and in fact, I'm shortly going to be remounting this with an 80 millimeter refractor on top. This is a fantastic mount. I've had it since 2013, and it's performed flawlessly. Nice. I, I read recent once in a while. But mm -hmm. That's all. And I you have some really good images to show for it too. It's I do. A very high end high end mount. I'm happy with that. What else do you have going on for well, us? Well, down here is the camera. The camera is a QHY 16200A. So it's got that 16200 sensor with the six micron pixels. I'm using Optolong filters. And uh, the filter wheel is in this black part here. It's a full LRGB and narrow band set. So H alpha, oxygen three, and sulfur. An Optec focuser on here. Optech just made this, and the really cool thing about it is it goes on the coarse shaft, which has a flat side to it, so it doesn't slip at all. Okay. The focuser I was using before uh, just couldn't hold the weight of the camera. I've got a Kendrick dew heater controller and dew heater strips. Um, that won't be needed anymore with the um, oh the surprise the new eagle because oh these you're letting the cat out of the bag. Oh, you're gonna edit it anyway. <laughs> Okay, so what's the uh, what's the new toy that you've got then? Well, the new toy is right over here. It's a Prima Luce Lab Eagle 3 Pro, which was given to me to review by uh, Prima Luce Lab during NEEF this year in New York. And uh, it's a cute little thing. Small. And... Uh, you can see it's got holes drilled on the top and bottom so that it it can actually go it's going to sit right on top of that big esprit that we just saw and then the 80 millimeter refractor will go on top of it on another dovetail that'll get mounted to the computer it's got uh lots of holes and vents and everything for um for heat exhaust let me give you a quick walk through all the yeah connectors. what's the bells and whistles on it yeah sure so first, uh, here's the business end for the power. Power in and four power out cords. Uh, Prima Luce did give me a 12 amp, 12.8 volt power supply with an extension that will run up through the center of the power mount. Okay. And connect to this, it goes in over here. And it allows you to power up to four devices. Uh, these two ports over here are 3 amp maximum. Mm -hmm. These two are 8 amp maximum. Okay. Now, obviously, that totals much more than, than 12 sure. amps. But, right. but I'm really only going to need two of these to start with. When are you going to be plugging into these? 
Well, uh, the mount is going to have a separate power supply because it's 48 volts, mm -hmm. but my QHY camera will go into one of the high amperage mm -hmm. ports, and my uh, Optech focuser will go into the other. Okay. If I get another camera mm -hmm. for the refractor that I'm going to be mounting, um, then I can use the other power out. Or it's you, a nice, nice unit. Yeah, it's, it's really well beautifully action. finished. Yeah, uh, beautiful finish on it. You can see all these holes are for mounting. Actually, kind of matches. Yeah, it matches pretty not, well. Not, not exactly, but it's pretty close. It's close. Yeah, for, especially for my old eyes at night. <laughs> so that's just the one end. The other end just has information about the device. If you look on the the first long end, these two gold connectors are for the two Wi-Fi antennae. Mm -hmm. So I'll just screw those on. Right. There's one, and, and the other other. allows you to run wireless. Yeah, so this device, this computer, is going to connect directly to another computer nearby in my observatory. Okay. Um, you oh, you know what I forgot to mention about these power ports mm -hmm. here? They're all controllable from software. In other words, you can okay. turn them off, turn them on label them mm -hmm. all from within the software nice and that's the same for these four usb2 ports right the usb3 ports cannot be turned on and off in software okay but these ones can and that's really good um every once in a while not often anymore sometimes you need to reset it yeah device. you get a piece of equipment that fails and you, you have to unplug the usb cable or sometimes cycle the power mm -hmm. to get it to work properly right and if it's minus 35 and 3 in the morning, I don't really want to be coming out to the observatory right. at that temperature. Yeah. Or if I'm running it from further away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So that's this side. Then on the other side, I mentioned there's an exhaust fan over here. Here's the other two USB ports. Mm -hmm. You've got HDMI ports if you do want to connect a monitor. Nice. And I will be connecting monitor, keyboard, and mouse for doing the installation of my software, software sure. and so on. Once it's all ready and I don't need that anymore, I'll, I'll dispense with sure. that. Yeah. But of course, you know, you can always access it. Uh, you can always use a keyboard and a mouse just by taking up one of the eight USB ports. Mm -hmm. with a little it's got a lot key. of USB ports. It's got a lot yeah. of USB ports. That's awesome. It's also got an Ethernet port, so you can have a wired connection wired if you want, to your right? other computer. Yep. Um, remember I told you I wasn't going to need that uh, dew heater controller anymore. Mm -hmm. It's going to go into my portable setup. Mm -hmm. But for my permanent setup, we've got uh, three ports here yep. that are specifically designed for dew he heater dew type things. Oh, that's really nice. Right, so it's got the right jack. It's a 0 to 12 volt variable. Right. You set that within the software. and uh, So it's a, the RCA style plug, basically. Exactly. You can plug your dew heater in and control it in the software. Exactly. Well, that's a really nice little unit. Yeah, so I'm I'm pretty excited about that. It's got and everything on it. The like really cool uh, thing, they uh, they also gave me a couple of sets of rings oh, to match nice. their product. Awesome. So I'm going to put those on. That's great. Yeah. These will go on the 80 millimeter refractor. Mm -hmm. That's an Explore Scientific 80 millimeter triplet F6 mm -hmm. that I recently acquired, and these are for. Uh, the 50 millimeter guide scope that you probably saw on the Skywatcher a few right. minutes ago. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm sure, uh, I mean, fashion doesn't matter much to me, but <laughs> my wife will like it for I'm sure. I'm sure she will. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, Ron, so uh, this new Eagle 3, how exactly does it uh, fit onto the telescope? Well, let's start with the power supply. So the power supply is going to go down here under the pier or inside the pier. It's going to replace this power supply. And the power out of that power supply is going to go straight up through this hole in the power mount. It will come out at the top by the Versa plate and then just run up the side of the tube rings over to this um, adapter plate. The Eagle itself is going to be bolted to that adapter plate. It'll be a little further back because this won't be here. This will be mounted on top of a 80 millimeter refractor which is going to sit on top of the Eagle. Okay. Now the really nice thing here is that all the cables from the dew heaters, they'll go to the other side over here, uh, but all the cables from the dew heaters and any USB cables, any power cables, they're going to run up, not down. That means cable management is going to be really tidy. 
and that avoids any problems while you're moving around the sky with gravity tugging cables. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, you don't giving, want that. Anything getting snagged or something. Yeah, and it, you, end, you just end up without a brown stars, which you can sort of fix them in software, <laughs> but it's way better to prevent them. Exactly. Okay, folks, so that's uh, the new Astro toy that Ron uh, wanted to show, and uh, it looks really fantastic. Um, something that's going to be very useful for him. Um, I appreciate you having me over. No problem. Clear skies? Come back at night sometime. I will, definitely. <laughs> All right, see, see you later. guys later.